What's up everybody, Tim Vicks here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be trying some food and snacks that I found interesting in Spanish supermarkets. Now, I have been to a couple of supermarkets in different countries and these particular foods and snacks, I haven't found them anywhere else. So let's head out and get some snacks. for this video and I'm holding this in my hand so that it doesn't get crushed in the bag and also the final bill is like 33 euros so I think it's pretty fine for the amount of snacks that I bought just now and it was super crowded I didn't expect it to be this crowded right now to be very honest I'm quite hungry and excited to try some of these snacks so let's go that we're gonna try is of course the famous Spanish cured meat now there are many Spanish cured meat the list is overwhelming but the most popular ones are the jamon and the chorizo so let's start with jamon so jamon is basically made out of pigs hind leg and you can find this cured pigs hind leg hanging literally everywhere like some festival decoration so it's basically very thinly sliced meat of this hind leg so jamon is basically had with other dishes and you can find it in quite a lot of tapas so the jamon that comes exclusively from the black iberian pigs are called jamon iberico and the rest are called jamon serrano um i'm hungry <laughs> let's dig right into it i wasn't expecting it to be this thin oh Okay, these are super thin. I don't know if, if the camera does justice, but they're more like, they're, they're pretty much translucent. You can see through it. Okay, so I'm gonna have this one. It has a good taste to it. Or I don't know if it's actually oil or not, but it definitely has a very good taste and kind of a salty flavor to it. So the next thing that we have is the chorizo. Now chorizo is made with pork meat or pork fat and is generously seasoned with paprika, garlic and salt. And they make it a sausage and then they cut the sausage very thinly. That's why the chorizo is generally round in shape whereas the jamon is kind of uh, serrated. So the chorizo can sometimes be very spicy as well because they put generous amount of paprika. So you find different versions of chorizo um let's see how this one tastes so this is how it looks as you can see it has a more round shape oh this is so good i think i definitely prefer this over the jamon because it has more flavors to it whereas the jamon was a bit more meaty salty and had a very flat flavor but this right here, oh, it tastes really good. So next up we have, so this is quite a popular drink and it's kind of similar to sangria. Now, this is made out of one part of red wine and one part of soda. What made me very curious is that whenever I think about some alcohol or wine, wine especially, it reminds me of a fancy shaped bottle, you know, a glass bottle with a cork on the top. I would never imagine an alcohol to be in a plastic bottle like this it does have alcohol so it has like 4.3 percent of alcohol quite curious to see how it tastes has fizz okay because of soda of course oh wow <laughs> this tastes really good <laughs> i definitely get the taste of red wine in it um, but at the same time, of course, the soda is quite strong, but it's sweet. In spite of having wine in it, it doesn't taste like that. So, yeah, maybe that's why it has such a mild taste. 
and I think if you are someone who has never tried alcohol before then I think you would enjoy this one because this doesn't have that strong alcohol smell or the hit I don't know I need to find if it has sugar in it but guys this tastes this tastes really good have some water to clean the palate the next thing that we have is the machango cheese now I have heard a lot about this cheese but to be very honest I had a hard time <laughs> trying to find this particular cheese in the supermarket because it doesn't say the word machango anywhere but then I did some research and found out that this is actually that cheese so this particular Spanish cheese comes from the Spanish region of La Mancha and it can be cured somewhere between two months to two years so the older the cheese becomes the darker this particular color will be and also the color of this will get more darker not a very strong smell yeah but it's definitely firm it's quite firm i like it it has a very mild taste um I'm pretty sure that it'll taste super nice with the jamo and chorizo that I had just now and I can feel the flavors going in well with this particular cheese. Next up we have the torta de aceite. It was in the bread section uh, of the supermarket so I kind of have an idea how this might taste. It's in my head though so I'm gonna try it. It's packed individually, very crisp, very firm. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> I think at this point you might be thinking, okay, this guy is gonna say wow for every single snack that he's eating. But trust me, this is absolutely delicious. So this is very crisp. And the, the shiny thing on the top is sugar, so it's quite sweet. But this particular one, I like it. I'm definitely gonna buy this again. So next up, I have the sauces. Now, I got two sauces here. One is the Brava sauce, and the other one is the Alioli sauce. So let's start with the Brava sauce. This, I suppose, is something really unique to Spain. So I love sauces, yeah? And I've spent a lot of time in the sauce sections of different supermarkets. But I've never seen something called a Brava sauce in any supermarket. Also, there's a tapas called Patatas Bravas and it's basically fried potatoes topped with this particular sauce. And I'm assuming that if you have it in a restaurant, the sauce is made in-house. So I haven't tried the bottled version of this sauce before. The next one is the alioli sauce. Again, I have never heard or seen this kind of sauce in any supermarkets and based on the name and the design on the packaging i know it's something related to garlic now me personally i'm a big fan of garlic if the recipe says two garlic i put five six garlics that's me so quite excited to try this one as well it's not as thick as mayonnaise or something it's really watery and then i'm gonna put the garlic sauce Very weird consistency and texture compared to the normal sauces that you buy. So let's try with the Brava sauce. The sauce is definitely spicy. I can feel the paprika or pimento kicking in. And there is olive oil in this for sure. I can get the taste. And I also get the taste of tomato. Not sure if it's there in this or not, but I do get a strong taste of tomato. Next up is the garlic sauce or the alioli sauce as they call it here. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna take a considerable amount here and I'm gonna lick it first just to get the flavor. Whoa, whoa, garlicky, <laughs> really garlicky. Whoa, this is my thing. I think. I'm gonna use this particular sauce more than the Brava sauce. Uh, I think it's just my personal preference because I love garlic. There's basically garlic, uh, mayonnaise and I think olive oil as well. And the taste is quite pungent. Um, like you definitely get that 
very strong and pungent garlic flavor mm, for sure next up we have the orchata so orchata is basically soaked ground and sweetened tiger nut don't get too creative i know what's going on in your mind it's not that tiger nut tiger nut is another dry fruit and to be very honest i have never tried the tiger nut dry fruit I've never tried it before so i don't know what to expect for the flavor of this very strange smell so it kind of feels like a milk but a bit more thin version of milk and has kind of a creamy color but a very very unique smell to it <laughs> what is this thing <laughs> this is uh this is unique <laughs> i was not expecting it to have such a such a pungent taste to be very honest it has a very distinct flavor that i have never had it before something really new for my mind um i'm curious this particular tiger milk has lot of health benefits yeah i mean if i have to drink it probably i think that it's some sort of medicine and drink it then it's fine but at this point i don't think i can enjoy this and have it so next up we have the quahada now this is a cheese milk desert so basically they warm the milk and then they add some sort of plant extracts or they put some en enzymes and let it curdle so it's had as a cold desert and what really interested me is the way it's packed so this right here is actually a clay pot it's a clay pot and as an indian what this reminds me of is mishti doi or the sweet curd which you find in west bengal so there is no smell to it and if you can see it it actually has a very very identical resemblance to the mishti doi again so in my mind i'm having a preset flavor because of the visual appearance let's see how it tastes so it cuts in beautifully like this has a very nice texture feels good but it legit has no flavor at all like it, it literally has no flavor it's not salty it's not sweet it doesn't have that cheesy flavor it just has a very bland flavor and i actually read on the internet that they normally serve this as a dessert along with some honey or along with something sweet so i can understand why they do that now so there you have it i had such an amazing time filming this video and to be honest i actually came to learn a lot about different foods that people have in spain but most of them that i showed you in the video are brand new for me and i'm actually trying it for the first time and if you have some other food recommendations that i should try in spain then do not hesitate to put them in the comments as well and if i get a lot of comments on that then maybe i can do a part 2 So that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for making me a part of your day. If you enjoyed this video then hit that like button and consider subscribing. And I will catch up with you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye. Cool that cow. <laughs> mm.